What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel tags and you enjoyed my content, you can smash the sub button and be notified for future readings. Just saying. This is uh, week four's reading for Sign of Sag for December of 2021. This can resonate if you have Sag in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, and Energy of your charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. I got one channel message in as I was meditating on your week four of December 2021's reading. And the message I received was seeing things clearly now. So you take it how it resonates in your own life. Seeing things clearly now. Now that could be you seeing things clearly now or someone you're connected to seeing things clearly now because energies can be reversed. So you plug it in however it resonates in your own life, but either you or somebody you're connected to or possibly both are seeing things clearly now in some shape, form, or fashion. So you plug it in however that resonates in your own life. Okay. Thanks everybody for all the love and support to the channel. Um, I just want to throw that out there. Every like, subscribe, share, and like, every donation, I would truly, truly appreciate it. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. That's my private PayPal account. Um, I don't have YouTube Live on right now. So um, if you donate through my PayPal account, it's private and confidential. I do not share on here how much you donate or your name for privacy and confidentiality purposes because I value everybody's privacy and confidentiality. So I just want to make that clear. I appreciate every donation and every, all the other support. Single mom and two kids, so it really, really helps. Just saying. Okay. So, Knight of Wands reverse, Seven of Wands are right. A particular Sagittarius is about to have a very, very greedy, masculine Leo come into their life. Want to take, take, take. For some, it's a masculine Leo. For some, it's a Sagittarius. You're going to stand up to this person in a huge way. For some, it's a Libra. Okay, so you plug in and how it resonates. So if this resonates with you, Sag, um, another Sag energy, masculine Leo energy, and Libra energy. Um, for some, this could be one person coming into your life. For some, they could be an integral part of your life, possibly. For some, they could just be trying to come back. You plug in and how it resonates, but some kind of Libra energy. It could be masculine or femme Libra. Um, Another Sag energy, um, masculine or femme Sag, and for some, a masculine Leo. Um, they could have any of those in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, Dome, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. But it sounds like whether they're an integral part of your life currently or they're trying to come back, they just want to take, take, take from you. For some, I feel it's money. For some, I feel it can be time. For some, I feel it can be energy. For some, any of those. You plug it in, how it resonates. Um, Protect, protect, protect. For some, it's a younger Leo energy, feminine, 35 and below. Okay, I heard protect, protect, protect. And for some, it's a younger Leo energy, 35 and below, fem. So strong Leo energy, um, Leo masculine and Leo fem, 35 and below. And double side energy and Libra energy. I heard all they want to do is take, take, take from you. So I think that could be energy, time, or money. One or two plus of those things. I heard protect, protect, protect. So I'm thinking protection spells for you or the ones you care about. Um, maybe evil eye protection spells. Um, protecting your energy. Protecting your money. Um, protecting your health. Uh, protecting the things that matter to you. Um, of course, you have to use your best discernment and logic and intuition with whoever these people are in your life. Um, only you know your story, not anybody else. So you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. Um, this is a greedy, selfish person, whether it's another Sag, a Leo, a, um, or a Libra. 
or two plus of these people. And then you standing up yourself. It could be blocking them out of your phone, blocking them out of your life, um, protecting your bank account, protecting your energy, um, protecting your time. However that resonates for you. Standing up for yourself. And they come off as no desire, drive, or motivation towards you. I think it's only when they want something. Just saying, just saying. But you plug it in how it resonates. In the beginning spirit message, it was um, seeing the real truth of things now. So I think you're seeing these people are truly selfish and greedy and needy and codependent. <clears throat> For some, it's a Scorpio. Okay, for some, it's a Scorpio. So we have Libra, Scorpio. I'm assuming masculine or feminine Scorpio, Libra, Scorpio, Sag, and Leo energy. You have to plug these people in, how they resonate, if they resonate for you. Spirit messages you have a sign of <clears throat> Sag. For some, it's a Gemini. Okay, I heard for some it's a Gemini. Dear God, a lot of signs. For some it's a Gemini. So, Leo, Libra, Sag, Gemini, and Scorpio. So, you have to plug them in however they resonate, if they resonate for you. Spirit messages, you have a sign of Sag. A particular Sagittarius is about to be shocked when they learn accounts are about to be frozen. They're about to be very scared. Oh my God. So you plug it in how it resonates. Whoa, that's serious. So if that resonates for you, Sage, I heard you're about to learn that accounts are about to be frozen. Um, you're going to be very scared. So some kind of, I heard accounts uh, like plural. And I heard that in Gemini's reading too. So for some, you could be connected to a Gemini in some shape, form, or fashion, possibly. But some kind of accounts, plural accounts. So Two plus accounts in the universe are about to be frozen. I heard it's going to, it's going to leave you scared. So if this resonate that particular message resonates with you, I think you um you're connected to these accounts in some shape, form, or fashion, or you are connected to somebody that has access to these accounts in some shape, form, or fashion. How that resonates for you, Saj. Eight of Swords reversed, the Fool reversed. Asaj sees that someone is out of jail out of jail has not been charged yet but they know it's coming and it is coming very soon gemini energy libra energy leo energy scorpio energy pisces energy Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Whoa. So that's a lot of people. So if this resonates for you, I heard you you notice that someone is out of jail and um, and they haven't been charged yet. But I heard it's coming. It's coming from spirit. It's coming. So you notice that somebody's free and clear, basically. This is um, out of jail. They could have bonded out of jail. They could just not have been charged yet and still roaming free in the free world out of jail. How that resonates, but um, they are not in jail currently right now, and you are noticing this in the 3D world. Um, but I heard it's coming. It's coming. So you plug it in, however it resonates. Heard Libra, Leo, um, Libra, Leo, Gemini, and um, Scorpio. And Sagittarius. And Sagittarius. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Libra, Leo, Gemini. Another Sag and um, who was the other one? Libra, Leo, Gemini, Sag. 
There was another Scorpio, Scorpio and Pisces and Pisces. So six signs and Pisces. They can have any of those in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter charts. Um, that's a lot of people about to be charged soon. I heard charged. So I think they'll probably get visited by officers or detectives or feds or what have you. Um, but they're about to get charged. And um, it's, I heard it's coming soon from spirit. So they're free in the free world right now, but it's coming. Fearlessness and freedom reversed. So even though they're roaming free in the free world, they're about to be stuck, i.e. the charge energy. It's exactly what I'm feeling. But you plug it in however that resonates, if that resonates in your life. We'll do one more. Spirit messages you have a sign. Okay. Spirit messages you have a sign of such. Oh. Eight of Cups upright, death upright. A Sagittarius has severe confusion over a death that has occurred in the past. But they're about to learn clarity soon through an autopsy. It's going to shock them. And push them to create series of chain of events to convict the killer. Oh my God. Whoa. Oh my God. Whoa. So some, some kind of homicidal, I'm not, not, well, yeah, it's a homicidal energy. It's homicidal energy. Whoa. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So if this resonates for you, I heard you, um, were confused on a death of the past. You were confused on it. A, a death has occurred in the past in some shape, some shape, form or fashion. Um, but I heard, um, through, it sounds like series of chain of, series of chain of events of an autopsy. The truth is about to be revealed and it's going to push you to create, after you learn the truth of the autopsy side, it's going to push you to create series of chain of events to convict the killer. So holy crap. So whoever this death is to you, it makes me wonder who you are connected to this death. For some, I feel you might be police or investigators or detectives, like a cold case file possibly. For some, I feel you might be the feds and you're investigating this possibly. Or for some, you could be the spouse of this person that passed away um, or a parent of a person that passed away. Um, somehow you have a, you'll, you're going to have access to the autopsy results. And once you learn the autopsy results, it's going to push you to convict the killer. So somebody killed this person. Um, I think in the past, people were unclear of what happened. I think you might have helped um, push to get the autopsy possibly for some is what I feel. Um, wow. So I think it was unclear in the past if they, maybe if they did it to themselves or if it was an accident or if somebody actually did it to them. But it sounds like the autopsy is about to become very, very significant. And it's about to reveal that somebody really did do it to them. So you plug it in how it resonates. Oh my Lord, this is, whoo. For some, you could be dealing with a Scorpio because it's Scorpion energy. For some, the person passed away could be a Scorpio possibly. Um, you have to plug in your life how it fits. If you are dealing with a Scorpio or if the person that passed away was a Scorpio, um, you could have, they could have Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, mid, hammer, Jupiter, charge. You plug it in how it resonates. Wow, that's strong. Holy crap. <clears throat> Spirit messages you have sign of Sag. King of Swords upright, three of cups upright. A particular Sagittarius is about to learn of a, an award a child is about to receive. For some Sagittarius, it is your child. For some, your grandchild. Some an estranged family member. 
Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, if this resonates for you, this is a good one. So if this resonates for you, I heard a particular side she's about to learn of a award um, a child is about to receive. For some of you guys, you're the parent of this child. For some, you are the grandparent of, the of this child. And for some, you are an estranged family member of this child. But um, however that resonates in your life, they, um, this child is about to receive an award um, of some shape, form, or fashion. So King of Swords Upright in this situation is honesty, truth, and clarity on the child receiving the award. It could be the person, this could be the person giving the child the award. Um, that's what I'm feeling for some. Or it could be um, a parental figure of some shape, form, or fashion delivering you the news that this child is receiving the, the award, possibly. Um, on, they could be an air sign or just another um, sign taking on the air sign energy. Honesty, truth, the clarity of the child receiving the award. And then this is celebration that the child's receiving the award. For some, you are the parent of this child. For some, you are a grandparent of this child. And for some, you are an estranged family member of this child. And for some, you are a step-parent of this child. And for some, you are a step-parent of this child. So for some, you're a parent. For some, you're a grandparent. For some, you're a step-parent. And for some, you're an estranged family member of this child. So you plug it in however it resonates. Huge celebration. The community is about to celebrate this child in a huge way, as they should. This is beautiful. Wow. I heard a huge celebration. The community is about to celebrate this child as they should. So it sounds like the community is about to do this for this child. Um, I heard a huge celebration, as it should be. So the, this child is about to be celebrated in a very hugely popular way, positive way in their community. They've done something very, very positive for their community or help contribute to something very positive in their community. And they're about to be celebrated and awarded for it. And absolutely, this is beautiful energy. For some, you're the parent. For some, you're the grandparent. For some, you're a step-parent. For some, you're an estranged family member. Um, but the, this, in this situation, is the community celebrating. For some, it could be you celebrating this child, too. But the community is about to celebrate because they have done something beautiful for this community in some shape, form, or fashion this child has. For some, it is a child. For some, it is a child and their parent. Huge community celebration soon. Okay, I heard for some it is a child and for some it is a child and their parent. Huge community celebration soon. So for some of you guys, it's a child about to be celebrated and awarded in their community. For some it is a child and their parent. And I heard huge community celebration soon. So a huge community celebration either for the child or the child and their parent through their community. Well, that's beautiful. You plug it in how it resonates. That's a great one. Spirit messages you have a sign of sign. Prosperity. I feel like I didn't get one more. Spirit messages you have a sign of sign. Spirit messages, you have something. Oh, too many. Spirit messages, you have a sign of that. Magic. Prosperity. Number five or 25 could be significant numbers in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. Five or 25. Five could be a possible age of a child of yours yours or somebody you're connected to. 25 could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to. Five and 25 could also be possible lottery number, date of birth number, social security card number, green card number, or, or um, jersey number. Five or 25. Prosperity.
A particular Sagittarius is about to file a lawsuit against a particular family member. For some, they're going to be very successful. For some, they are not. Okay, so you plug in and how it resonates. So family member lawsuit energy, if this resonates with you. Um, I heard some of you guys are about to file a, a lawsuit against a family member. I heard for some you're going, going to be very successful and for some you're not. So we have prosperity cards. So I'm assuming the ones that are going to be successful in the lawsuit against their family member. Um, they're going to be very prosperous after they win this lawsuit and um, be prosperous in the material world, basically. Um, I heard for some you're going to be successful and for some you're not. So the ones that are going to be successful in the lawsuit, I'm assuming lots of prosperity there. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. One Sagittarius is about to purchase a vacation home. And one's about to go to an Airbnb. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So one of you guys is about to purchase a vacation home soon and one you're about to attend a, a Airbnb. So rent an Airbnb, Airbnb, how that resonates. So congrats to whoever that's for. So the one that's about to purchase that vacation home, I'm assuming you've gained lots of prosperity in the past in order to purchase this vacation home. For some, cash in hand, purchase outright. Wow, okay. I heard for some of you guys, you purchased this vacation home cash in hand outright. So obviously you're very prosperous if you were able to just hand over the cash and um, purchase the vacation home cash, straight up cash, obviously. So you plug in and how it resonates. Magic. Very magical things are about to occur between a Sagittarius's family member and their twin flame. Some, it's you and your and your twin flame. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So if this resonates for you, I heard um, for some it's your family member in their twin flame. For some it's you in your twin flame. So we have the magic upright card. Um, so for some, you're about to reconnect with your twin flame, it sounds like. And we had a lot of twin flame reconnection in Leo's reading. A lot, a lot, a lot. But it sounds like one of you guys is about to reconnect with your twin flame too. Um, I'm presuming if this resonates with you, you know who your twin flame is. Um, and you're about to reconnect with them. Um, so lots of magic brewing between you and your, you and your twin. Hopefully you're going to grow and manifest this uh, reconnection in a positive way and it turns out positively because just because you reconnect with your twin flame doesn't mean that y'all get back together and it's rosy dozy from there on out. You have to grow and re-manifest the connection, especially if you've been disconnected for a long time. Um, anybody that knows anything about Twin Flames knows that. Um, I'm presuming whoever is watching this probably knows that too, but I just feel like I need to re-clarify that. But I heard magic is brewing between you and your Twin Flame, so hopefully you can grow and manifest the connection in a positive way, and it doesn't lead to like craziness, just saying, and disconnection again. Um, so correct, congrats to whoever this is for. And for one of you guys, I heard it's your family member and their Twin Flame. Lots of magic is about to brew between their um, their connection. So it sounds like they're about to reconnect or they have already connected. And um, hopefully they will grow and manifest it in a positive way as well. In this sense, I don't feel this is black magic. I feel this is true forces at work, astrological signs aligning and true stars aligning energy in the universe to for these twin flames to reconnect. That's what I'm feeling, but you plug it in however that resonates in your own life. 
And a particular Sagittarius is about to expose a family member for performing black magic. This Sagittarius has been keeping it inside for a long time. Okay, well, you go with your bad self, Sag, if that resonates for you. And one of you guys, I heard you're about to expose a family member, a lot of family energy in here. You're about to expose a family member for performing black magic. You apparently know this family member performs black magic, but you've been holding it in for a long time, but you're about to, it sounds like, publicly expose it in some shape, form, or fashion. Now, whoever you expose it to, I'm not sure. It, reson it could resonate different for everybody. However, you only know your story, not anybody else. So whoever you're going to expose it to. Um, but black magic is a very, very serious, nasty thing. It can cause death. It can cause harm it can cause sickness it causes money it causes can cause money blockages it causes nothing but grief strife and heartache and that's just the truth um but whoever you are you're highly intuitive and you know this i think i think you know this and you're about to expose your family member um i heard you've been holding it in for a long time but you're about to expose it so in this situation that is black magic about to be exposed kudos to whoever that's for all right, you guys, we're done. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices, my dear. Namaste.